What's up, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy King King053, Mr. Easy Money, and I'm back at it again with another one. And this time around, I want to uh, cover something about selective content and um, why it is important to select the content that you consume as a consumer and why it is important to stay in your lane and not allow other people to dictate what you learn and the 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 biggest place where we we are we are we are detected for to learn things is tv in tv they know how the consumer mind works they know how the consumer mind operates so they know that drama um action um sex and um and conspiracy theories sell more than the 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 right thing that we as we as the people need to advance us in life so in this in this episode or in this clip i'm going to be covering exactly that so guys um i want to thank quickly my sponsor of my channel why not technologies as you guys know why not technologies have pimped me up and i'm sure i'll just play just a clip here so that you guys can see me setting up my little uh, small studio and uh, we we are progressing slowly but surely getting to where we want to get you understand so um i think why why not for believing in me i'm starting very small uh but the views are piling in you know within two months uh, over over i think we are almost at four thousand views now and the more people we can reach the better it is for the channel so if you are if you want to print your clothes bags or you want to do something please guys feel free to call why not technologies and ask for a quotation compare the quotation to what you have wherever you are i think it is better if you are in the western cape because why not is in cape town but if you want to if you want to uh if you want things like um bulk printing and stuff i think they will be the best people to do that because they do in bulk they've got strong machineries to compete with whatever uh, business or company in Joburg, in Devon, wherever they can compete with prices anyways um let's just quickly listen to uh Langeni and just hear what are his thoughts about um selective content and what is actually playing today on tv but who benefits at the compromise amount? Are you are you then making reference to the the owners of the production? Or rather, not the production, but the, the owners production of Bailey, the producers, mm -hmm. and the intention yeah, channel. The broadcaster. Yeah, broadcaster. Yeah. Um, look, but how do you show is successful? How you take the queen? Yes. Yes. What do you take home for the queen? What as an actor or as as a as viewer? A, as a viewer. As a viewer. Mm. Hore, you can live on drugs uh. and live a luxurious life. That's where black people are and exploit your drivers but you cooking in very informal not informal if mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You look at the river. Yeah. The river this woman who owns she live in airplanes and, and about to bad lam cuckoo. Cuckoo, yes. There's nothing positive about black people. Yeah. You look at um, it's Queen the River. You look at all of them most. Dinali this undertone. You look at Uzal, that that one that, that one is even worse. Yeah. There's nothing positive that you can say. So but and those people about Lamodi Shon so kiddy role models, they become celebrities, they become what kind of a society are we expecting to build? If Ronaldin to analytic. Why don't we have stories that inspire? Yeah. Um, we had to work a story sa pongo. Yes, there was, <laughs> yes, but the stories are they produced by black Mama, people. Yeah, Mama uh, Mama 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 yes. uh, written by both Akiba as cultural advisors, mm -hmm. but they had educational elements. Got to honor. Who's your uncle Classimo? Everyone would want to be co class. There's an aspirational uh, element to it. Yes. Salagawa file. Those are good stories. Yeah. Moral grounding and not, not what we're watching today. Sure. Today, but one uh, the wife, it becomes a very popular show where explicit sex is displayed on sure. television. I remember that scene, eh? 
and you. then you th- and you call it success. Huh. Because it, w- whatever we do as African people, we not interested in that guide us as a people. Yeah. Not the culture and some of these things cannot work today, but they are guidelines. Mm. Now, this is how we do this. We perceive Bopelo. These are some of the things that cannot display publicly. Yeah, so you heard it for yourself from the legend to Don Mlangeni, one of the best actors. I, I remember I also grew up listening to him, listening. Uh, I used to watch uh, Lisilo. Uh, that was a, a very scary thing. I watched actually Lisilo uh, after DSTV actually bought all the archives of SABC. And I think SABC is in the process of buying them back so that they can play them for us again. But DST just bought all of those archives of the stories that were actually teaching us things and just put it away. Things, uh, stories like Salagilabo Abafileo was one of my favorite because um, it was a story telling about a, a wife losing a husband, but the husband was not really dead and she stayed in, she stayed faithful. In, believing that the husband will come back and that, that was the storyline but for me the waking up point about uh, selective content was when generation um had a gay scene i don't know if you remember um senzo and jason i think his name was jason and um for me that raised something you understand because it, that, that was the, the, the first promotion of uh, homosexualism in TV, as far as I'm concerned. Uh, there might have been other stories before, but for me, Generation, I was watching it religiously. Generation, Rhythm City, and uh, Isidingo. I was watching those ones religiously. I was not missing any of them. But then the, I started, as a young man, I started seeing them. But there's something wrong here. There's something wrong. But you know, it's just at the back of your mind. You leave it, you watch, and then you hear people talk about it. And then came another story after nine. Yeah, if you guys can remember that. And then I started, I started seeing that Norman. Something is, um, something is not, it's not right, man. Because it is true. These stories that you guys watch on Mzansi, Magic, and all of that. For me, I don't have, I don't have a TV right now uh i will get a tv because you know when you get visitors they are so used to watching tv and in my house i have that install that thing of of um of selective content so my people are always on the phone on their tablets watching whatever they like to watch instead of watching what the tv wants us to watch you understand so for me that is very important but you just see these days all you're going to see is homosexual. They are there everywhere in your face. Our children are watching these things, whether it be so easy doing a particular hairstyle, doing nails, wearing a dress, idols. That is what they are promoting. Gangsterism, that is a, 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 another thing that they are, they, are, they are promoting. The most important one that they are promoting is fatherlessness. Uh, households that are headed by women and those women turning gangsters, women running uh, drug drug cartels, uh, running uh, uh, running the drug industry, running mines, women carrying guns and shooting at each other, shooting at families, uh, and so on. And uh, of course, you you have your sex scenes where you know you're watching with your children, and the next thing. Uh, Kanyumba is doing another hot set scene. I haven't actually seen that. I have, I have not actually seen it. Like, cause like I said, I don't watch TV that much. And even when I had TV, I was not bothered with what is happening at Mzansi Magic and all of that stuff. So nothing you see um, in TV today develops the black family. I mean, you guys tell me. What is it that we are watching today on today's TV that is developing the black family in terms of uh, um, uh, financial literacy, 
in terms of what is happening in our economy, in terms of trading, in terms of agricultural knowledge, um, mining knowledge and all of that stuff. There's nothing that we're watching that, that you can take away and you're like, wow, I understand the stock market better. I understand whatever it, it can be. We, we just understand gangsterism, spinning cars, um, sex and all of those things that are on the, on the, on the, on the TV. And again, the abuse of alcohol. And I'm not saying whatever they're displaying there is not uh, the reality in, in, in our communities. Because some of the stories, they are true to what is happening in our communities. But they are then uh, amplified, amplified to glorify what, what that thing is, what the problem is, whether it be alcoholism or be it, uh, homosexual or be it, uh, like I said, uh, um, uh, female-headed ho households and stuff like that. That is what they, they are pushing. So uh, for me, it's not helping anyone. And, um, you know, for me, when, when we used to watch U Uzola, Uputizola 7, I'm sorry guys, I'm just reading my notes now, I can't even read my own handwriting. But, you know, I have given up on, on, on TV giving, especially my children and myself, any education, any worthwhile education that will better us as a black, as a black, um, a nation. They, I don't believe that will ever happen. Because gossip sells, sex sells, and um, uh, uh, what you call uh, gangsterism, drugs, and um, all of those things sell because that, that is the in trade that the, that is making money right now. You see, you're going to see um, lesbian and uh, and um, and uh, what you call uh, homosexual people. But you will never see a channel that, that sits down with them and explains the science of what is happening in their, in their genes. And you will never see, if you watch my, 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 there is a video I did about, uh, Uganda and, um, their president. There's a long video. I think it's 30 minutes, 34 minutes. Just go down on my channel and watch it. And you will see that there are some transgender people that regret cutting off their private parts and uh, transcending to another gender. Um, there are very a lot, not, not, there are people that have been transgenders for more than 50 years that regret it. Then they will never tell you all of those things. All they'll do is glamorize these things to entice our children, our confused children, so that our children can go into those stuff so that they, they they can convert them but you you don't get an educational background of saying listen the reason why you're feeling like you are a girl is one two three and the way we can reverse that is one two three this is how uh x person did it and he's now all right he's straight he's whatever he's changing because some of the things is scientific and medical but instead of them uh addressing what you are confused what is confusing the core of what is confusing you they take the confusion and they amplify it so the next thing they say no you are a girl take testosterone uh, estrogen or whatever you, you are a man just take more of this drug and they they direct you into that direction where you're going to find yourself later in the year when your mind starts waking up and your body is not catching up and you you, you find that it, it is maybe too late medically to to reverse the procedures. You see, so you guys tell me what you think. Um, for me, I, I've given up on TV. I don't. I don't care what is happening on TV. Uh, the news that are important uh, will get into will get into my Facebook or YouTube. So if something is trending, I'll get to see it. If I don't get to see it, that's that's it. I don't care. It's not that important to me. You see, so sometimes I catch, I catch on stories later, um, six months later, and I, I talk to my friends and that, but that thing happened last year. And, and because for me, it, it, it trends later on my, on my, 
uh, algorithms and my my channels and everything so for me i don't care about that so you guys tell me uh, what do you do i remember when i was young my mother used to make us go sleep when generation was starting eight o'clock was our time for sleep because we were waking up early the, our school was very far so half past five we were leaving the house so you can imagine now uh, what time half past five we were in the transport the Patco bus uh, from um uh, going to uh, uh, Estres. if you know where Eastland is Estres is next door I was I was doing school there so we're traveling with the bus the half past five bus we are on it so I think quarter two or half past four, four we are already up so my mother made us sleep very early because of that but um, also she didn't want to now get uncomfortable in terms of us watching things on generation that we're not supposed to watch but obviously she was not there every day so we could watch the other times when she was not there but what do you guys do do you monitor what your children are watching on the phone because also the internet can be a dangerous place do you um do you guys um monitor what they watch on the tv do you have age restriction pin on your dstv and stuff like that tell me how do you guys do it let's advise each other on the comment session last but not least i want to again thank why not production why not technologies for sponsoring my channel um with whatever you saw that i have right now why not uh, did it and uh, also Hrafstian, um studios also sponsored me with a tripod now using nice a nice tripod now so everything is picking up we're going to we're going to grow i'm just going to grow my channel maybe up to five thousand maybe ten thousand uh, subscribers and from there i'll start having guests and i'm telling you guys i'm already getting crazy ideas on who i'm going to bring and everything is going to blow your mind but slowly but surely we are improving slowly but surely we are we as a family we are growing so i thank you guys for all the subscribers all the comments all the likes i appreciate it i don't take it light it's your boy king 053 mr easy money welcome to king said so if you haven't subscribed please consider subscribing until next time i salute